Now let us start the next chapter basic geometrical ideas. Now what is the meaning of geometry? So what is what does the geometry mean? The the word geometry the English word geometry is derived from the Greek word geometron and this is obtained by the two words geo and metron so geo means earth and metron means measurement so your geometry is widely used to measure the lands in the ancient days and nowadays the geometry is also used in the art architecture engineering and even the cloth designing so then in this geometry so we will learn about the line line segment point rays and triangles and quadrilaterals and the different geometrical shapes even we can find out the many objects around us in the shape of geometrical objects now we are going to learn about the point line segment line rays etc so first we will start with the point concept so what is a point a dot mark shape by the sharp tip of a pencil gives us an idea of a point so this point the dot mark shape by the sharp tip of a pencil gives us an idea of a point and here points are denoted by the capital letters points are denoted by capital letters so we write this point as capital A and for example if there is another point we write capital B and here points determine the location now let us define a line segment and a line so first a line segment now if you take any two points such as A and B so we can join these two points in different ways as A to B in this direction and A to B so but in this the shortest distance between the two points A and B is called the line segment AB so this is the shortest distance between the two points A and B so we can write the shortest distance between two points is called a line segment the line segment AB is denoted by by a b line segment or b a now it has only one dimension so that is length it has only one dimension that is length 
but a point has no dimensions either length breadth or height but a line segment has only one dimension that is length and it has no breadth now the next one is a line now to determine a line segment we need two points so so this is the line segment joining the two points c and d including the point c and d so we need the two points to determine a line segment so this line segment is represented by cd or dc Now the next one is a line. So how we can obtain a line? So a line is obtained by producing a line segment indifferently a line is obtained by producing a line segment indefinitely in both the directions now if you take a line segment ab and if you produce the line segment ab in both the directions indefinitely so then we get a line so to determine a line we need two points so here a line segment is named by two points on it so this line segment is represented by this line is represented by line ab or line ba and it has no end points on either side a line has no end points on either side but whereas a line segment has two end points so we can write here a line segment has two end points now we can understand that a line segment is a portion of a line so if you do if you take any portion of the line then it is said to be a line segment now let us learn about the intersecting lines and the parallel lines so the first one is intersecting lines and the next one is parallel lines so when two lines are said to be intersecting lines and when two lines are said to be parallel lines for example if you take any two lines now this is the line l and this is the line m so lines are also represented by lower case letters with only single letter so we can represent any line by two capital letters like a b and a single small letter l and the line m can be represented by two capital letters c and d so this line l or ab so this is line m or cd so this is the line m line ab or l and this is the line cd or m 
Now these two lines have a common point, so that is P. So if two lines have a common point, then the two lines are said to be intersecting lines. So now this, this common point is said to be the point of intersection of those two lines. So we can write the definition. If two lines have a common point, they are called intersecting lines the common point is called the point of intersection the next one parallel lines so if two lines do not meet each other then they are said to be parallel lines for example means if the two lines are not intersecting lines so your line P line Q so these are the two lines which do not meet each other so these two lines are said to be parallel lines so the lines which do not meet each other are said to be parallel lines if two lines do not meet each other means they don't have any common points so the parallel lines have no point in common and the distance between two parallel lines is same the distance between two parallel lines same everywhere means wherever you measure the distance between the two parallel lines so it is the same distance and we use the symbol this symbol for parallel so if the line P is parallel to Q then we write P is parallel to Q so we can write the line AB is parallel to the line CD if two lines are not parallel so then we write for example line L is not parallel to Q so we write L is not parallel to if L is not parallel to M so then we write L is not parallel to M so this is a symbol for non parallel lines and this is the symbol for parallel lines if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus